In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move your WordPress blog from one website to another or one server to another. Uh, as an example, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this website that I have here, free WordPress tutorials, that's on edgychalk.org uh, in a subdirectory called blog. We're going to move this site to a new website uh, called heraldleader.org and we'll put it in a subdirectory called blog. So to make the move, uh, we're going to move the source code for the blog and we're going to move the database. And then we have to make a couple of changes to each of those uh, as we move them. So I'll go through this step by step. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to uh, download the source code and download the database to our local computer so that we can upload to our new site. So to do that I'm going to use cPanel and we're going to use File Manager to download the source code. Now you could do this with FTP client uh, if you like. Uh, I just like to use File Manager because it's uh, a little bit faster and a little more efficient uh, from the way I work anyway. So anyway, my site that I'm moving it was in a subdirectory called blog on my account. If I click on blog, there's all my source code. Now if you have your blog in root, then you'll need to move all your files, individual files. Uh, the reason I like to put my blogs in subdirectories is because they're, it's really easy to manage uh, when I want to update, move, anything like that. So anyway, I'm going to be moving this uh, directory called blog because that's where my site resides in that directory. To do that in File Manager, it's pretty easy. Uh, all I have to do is put a check beside my directory and compress it. So I'm going to compress and on compress you can pick any of these files. I'm just going to leave it as a zip. I want it to compress that directory to a zip file right there on my website. When it's done then I'll see in my public HTML a file called blog zip. So essentially what uh, cPanel has done for me, the file manager, is it's zipped up my blog for me here. So now I can download it quite easily. I'll just go to my website in my browser like normal and change blog to dot zip and that will download my blog for me. Uh, download that zip file. Now if you're using a different browser you might have to click save or save target as but you download it to your computer that zip file and that gives you your entire blog and zip and uh, source code in your blog. Okay now that it's downloaded if I look on my desktop I see that zip file. There's my source code. Now before I go any further, I'm going to uh, go back to my file manager and I'm going to delete that zip file. You want to make sure you do that. If you don't, then anyone else uh, who stumbles across it uh, on your site could download your, your source code as well. So delete that zip file to get it off. Now I'm finished with file manager on my old site. Uh, the second thing I need to download on my old site then is the database. So I'm going to go to PHP My Admin, find my database. Now if you have more than one database, there may be several listed here. I only have one on this site. Find your database and select it and then you'll see all your database tables. Now you will probably only see 10 or so tables if you don't have uh, uh, plugins installed. I have a few plugins installed that's created more tables on my blog. So uh, don't get confused if you only see a few tables. Uh, but anyway, to download your database. You just select it at the top, click export. It should come up and automatically have all your tables selected. If not, you can just click select all to make sure all your tables are selected. Leave all your options here set as default. Make sure SQL is checked and put a check and save file as. And then click go and click OK or save target as whatever your browser prompts you to do and that will download your database now to your desktop as an SQL file. So now I have both things from my existing site that I need in order to transfer to my new site. I have my source code and I have my database SQL file. So I'm done with my old site. Uh, my old site's still online. I haven't deleted it. I don't want to delete it. I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, but I'm finished working with it. So now I can go to my new site and my new site's heraldleader.org. Now on this new site I do have a couple other blogs in there uh, just as test blogs but I'm going to restore my blog or 
to this site and just call it blog. Uh, so to do that, I need to get into my cPanel of my uh, site I'm transferring to. Okay, and now I'm in cPanel, and again, you can do this through FTP if you like, but uh, now I'm going to go to File Manager. This is on my new site, and the first thing I'll do is go into Public HTML, and I'll upload the source code, the zip file that I downloaded. This is just like uh, downloading your uh, new WordPress zip file from WordPress.org and uploading it to do an install. We're doing the same thing, essentially. Again, if you're doing FTP, if you downloaded your source code from your old site FTP, come here and upload it FTP, however you want to do it. Uh, and here, just to, to sort of orient you in my public HTML, I do have two other blogs in here uh, in subdirectories. Uh, so the file that I'm going to upload here is the one that I zipped and downloaded from my other site, and that was called blog zip. So I'm uploading blog zip to public HTML on the new site. That will get all my source code, that gets my upload data folder, it gets my custom themes, plugins, everything since I downloaded the entire blog. Okay, my source code is uploaded, so I can close my uploader, and there's my blog zip. Now I'm going to extract this zip in my uh, public HTML. And when you do this, the only thing you need to be careful of is that you don't have another directory in here with the same name as the directory you're extracting. If you do, then you'll overwrite it. So if that happens, then there's a couple ways to handle that. You can rename it before you upload it, or you can create a directory here, put the zip in it, extract it, and then rename it and move it out of the directory. But just be careful. If I had another directory in here called blog, and I extract this directory, then it would overwrite files in that blog directory. So you want to be careful not to do that. Uh, but I don't have another directory called blog, so there's not a problem. So I select my zip and click extract just like I would do if I was extracting original WordPress source code. It extracts into the directory called blog. Uh, so now I'm done with the zip. I'm going to put a check beside it and delete it from the site. There's no reason to leave those zips there. If you leave them, someone could download them if they find them through the web browser. So now I have my source code here. If I click on blog, there's all my WordPress source code and everything from my old site. So I have half of it done, but I've still got to get the database uploaded. Um, once I get my database created and get my SQL file uploaded, then we'll need to come back in this blog directory here and make a couple changes in the config file. But we'll wait uh, to do that until we get our databases created and uploaded. So my source code is uploaded. I'm going to close File Manager. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and go to MySQL Databases and create a database. Now this is the exact same thing you do when you're creating a new blog. Uh, and uh, So I'm just going to go through this quickly. Well, I'm going to call this database, I already have one here called DB2, so I'm just going to call this database blog. What the heck. So I've created the database blog. Now I'm going to create a new user to put in it just so that I'll know. I'll just call it blog1 for the user. I'll let the system generate the password for me, and I'm just going to copy it so that I have it on my clipboard, and click Create User. The username is blog1, the password generated, and then I'm going to go back at the bottom, and lastly, I'm going to take blog1 user, and I'm going to add blog1 user to blog, and give all privileges. Now this is the exact same thing that I show you in the video on how to install WordPress uh, creating this database. Now I have my database created. It's called Herald04 underscore blog. The user is blog1, Herald04 blog1, and I have the password. So while all that's fresh in my mind, uh, 